A small nonprofit that keeps old trains alive is working to stop, str uh, they're struggling to stop vandals. 41 Action News anchor Richard Sharp was there when they discovered new damage to their train that they're trying to restore. I've always loved trains from the time I was a little kid to today. Alan Kinsley works to keep history alive, but vandals are ruining that history. You don't expect for the damage to happen to it and to be, you know, totaled. These cars belong to the Midland Railway Historical Association in Baldwin City, Kansas. While we were there, there's fresh glass on the ground. Kinsley found evidence of another vandalism. It wasn't that way just a couple weeks ago. I mean, it's just disrespectful all the way around. Uh, with the glass being knocked out and the big rocks thrown at it. The damage is extensive. They're all safety glass, laminated glass. Almost all the windows are broke. They cut the fuel lines off. Copper thieves ruined a large generator. Along with all the wiring they cut apart. And graffiti is all over the outside, the inside. <laughs> and even the seats of this antique. If the material don't match, then all of them have to be recovered. Since it was all custom built, it all has to be custom rebuilt. Even though we're a nonprofit organization, we don't want to be a burden on somebody else. But now, this small nonprofit is doing something they have never done before, posting it on Facebook and creating a GoFundMe page. Thousands of people saw this post, hundreds shared it. Now, Alan hopes he can raise enough money to get these cars moving and away from the vandals. And this is a look at the rail cart before all the vandalisms. You can see the windows are in perfect working order. Everything looks great. This is also their GoFundMe page. You can see the damaged car right there. So far, they've raised almost $500 towards a $20,000 goal. It's going to cost a lot more than that to fix that, but they do say they have a small amount of insurance money that will help them along the way. Back to you.